Hello mga kakamay, welcome back to my channel. This is Shella again at Richie Shella Crochet Vlogs. How are you today? So ngayon may bago na naman tayong tutorial. And um, ayan, sa mga nakikita nyo, that's our material. So I'll be using um, different size of hook which is 3.5mm hook for the hat and then 2.75mm hook for the embellishment like the um, eye patch and then the nose. Uh, part sa uh, ating tutorial so that will be in a different part of this tutorial okay so i'll be using a four ply and fill yarn okay and then a 3.5 millimeter hook so first we are going to make the crown part of the hat and we're going to make syempre na ating slip knot and chain three so i'll be making a magic ring so that's it and we're going to slip stitch into the very first stitch slip stitch and chain two then we are going to make a 12 yeah, chain 2 here is not counted as a stitch okay so uh, right here at the very center okay so don't be confused so just make sure that you're working inside of our magic ring okay so We'll be working at 12 double crochet into the center. 12 double crochet. So, 1, 2, oops, 3, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and then twelve. And then make sure that you have 12 double crochet stitches so count it backward and then you're going to slip stitch into the very last or the first stitch okay and there you are our round one and then for our round two chain two again it's not counted as our stitch and then work two double crochet into the same stitch so we're going to um, increase in each stitch here okay so that's our first increase and then two double crochet into the next stitch that's our second increase and keep doing uh, two double crochet in each stitch all around in total of 24 double crochet so i am now here in my last two stitch i know i mean last one stitch and we are going to step stitch into the first stitch or double crochet we made and then chain two then work one double crochet into the same stitch and if you're a beginner please don't forget to insert our uh, stitch marker in your first stitch okay and then into the next stitch make an increase or two double crochet then one double crochet two double crochet into the next stitch 
again one double crochet and then two double crochet into the next stitch continue working this pattern all around to complete our round three and a total of 36 stitches so I have now two stitches left so one double crochet and then into the next stitch or into the last stitch work two double crochet and then slip stitch into the first double crochet then chain two again not counted as our stitch then one double crochet into the same stitch one double crochet into the next stitch okay so I will make a um, I will put our stitch marker and then two double crochet or increase into the next stitch so we're uh, working um, two double crochet and then increase into the next stitch again one double crochet for the next two stitches and then into the next stitch make an increase of a double crochet so that's how we're going to work into this round four so continue working this pattern working one double crochet one double crochet and then increase into the next stitch okay so i have now three stitches left so one double crochet one double crochet and then increase into the last stitch so this is total of 48 double crochet for our round four then we're going to slip stitch where we remove our st st uh, stitch marker and then chain two work one double crochet into the same stitch don't forget to put your stitch marker and then one double crochet into the next stitch and then one double crochet into the next so a total of three double crochet and then into the next stitch work on increase of double crochet again three double crochet one two and three then increase into the next stitch okay so continue working this pattern three double crochet and then two double crochet into the next stitch and total of 60 uh, double crochet all around so i have now four stitches left and then the last stitch two double crochet there and then we're going to slip stitch into the first double crochet so that's the end of our round five for our round six chain two and then work one double crochet into the same space and one double crochet for the next three stitches so one two and three then into the next stitch work a two double crochet or an increase then four double crochet oh that's one two three and four and then increase into the next stitch okay so continue working um, four double crochet and then increase into the next stitch and in total of 72 double crochet all around okay so as usual we are now here in our last stitch and two double crochet into the very last stitch and then slip stitch into the first double crochet slip stitch and then let's see we measure it and it's a 4.75 so we'll be working another one more round okay so chain two for our round seven 
and then double crochet into the same stitch and one double crochet for the next five stitches so that's our second third and fourth then two double crochet for the next stitch and work five double crochet one two three four and five and then increase into the next stitch so again work five double crochet and then increase into the next stitch so continue working this pattern all around and i'll meet you back when i'm in the last stitch okay so there you are this is our very last stitch and that's we work a two double crochet into that stitch and then slip stitch to finish to round seven and this is it fun see it <laughs> so this is the last round of our crown um part okay so it says 5.75 inch so it's um perfect for one year old to three years old okay? okay so for our round eight we're not going to increase but we'll be working um double crochet in its stitches so chain two and work one double crochet into the same stitch and put your stitch marker then double crochet into the next stitch and double crochet into each stitch all around okay so continue working double crochet in each stitch just um, single stitch okay in each stitch all around and I'll meet you back when I'm here at the last stitch okay so so this is the last stitches okay and then slip stitch into the first double crochet then round nine okay so for our round nine it's chain two and then two um chain two and then double crochet into the same stitch and we'll be working um same process from the previous round just work around nine and to round 15 so that will be the end of our height for the crown so this is now my round 15 look like and it's okay so we're going to check so one two three four five six seven eight 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15 ro rounds. Okay, so this is my last stitch, and I slip stitch out already. Then I'm going to cut the yarn here. Then chain one to secure the yarn. Okay, so let's measure the height from the top to the bottom. It's a uh, 5.5 inch. That's the height of our hat, and then the circumference is it says 8 inch times 2, so it's 16 inch. Okay, so that's the size of the head. It's 16 inch. So, so okay, so we are going to fold our hat in. Uh, make sure that the last stitch or the tail is at the very center okay so this will be the back of our hat okay so we're going to count from the left to right one two three four five and six 
okay so that's our six stitches six stitch put your stitch marker at that part at that stitch i mean and then from the other side do the same count from here and to here six stitches okay so from the stitch count 14 stitches from the stitch marker okay so that's our 12 13 14 then put your stitch marker and do the same on the other side okay so count 14 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 okay then grab your yarn okay so grab your yarn right now and we're going to work this 14 stitches for the earth flop okay so grab your yarn and make a slip knot and then attach into the very uh in right side okay right side so make sure that you are working into this 14 stitches okay so insert your hook into the first stitch remove the stitch marker and chain one so chain one is not counted as a stitch okay so grab the yarn and work uh, one half double crochet into the same space okay so that's our first half double crochet and then work one half double crochet across in total of 14 stitches okay so that's four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen and the last one remove the stitch marker and work one half double crochet into that stitch then chain one turn your work then we're going to skip the first stitch okay so insert your hook into the second stitch and work one half double crochet then stitch your uh, put your stitch marker so that's our first stitch then two three four five six seven eight nine ten so we are going to decrease at this last two stitches here so work your uh, insert your insert your hook into the first stitch okay last stitch so that's the 12 stitch that's our last stitch which is 12 in total so chain one turn your work and skip one stitch and one half double crochet into the next stitch so that's our one two three four five six seven eight nine okay so decrease remove the stitch marker and skip the one stitch and we're going to work into the second stitch okay so that's our thin half double crochet chain one turn your work then yarn over skip the first stitch and then work one half double crochet into the next stitch don't forget to attach your um, 
stitch marker so three four five six seven and then skip one stitch here and remove the stitch marker and work one half double crochet into the last stitch chain one turn your work skip the uh, first stitch then work one half double crochet into the second stitch so that's our one two three four five and skip one stitch then one half double crochet into the last stitch six chain one turn your work skip one stitch here and then one half double crochet into the next stitch one two three and skip one stitch and then work one half double crochet into the last stitch and then chain one turn your work skip the one stitch and then into the second stitch one half double crochet then skip one stitch remove the stitch marker and work one half double crochet into the last stitch okay so that is and then chain one that's our last part of the air flop okay so cut the yarn and then do exactly the same at the other side okay so make yours the other part for the air flop okay so i'll meet you back when i'm done for the other one okay so just make sure that you're doing the stitches into the right side okay from the left okay it's from the right to the left okay so keep on working and see you okay so i'm done uh, so i'm going to cut the yarn here and we'll be working the aging part okay so i'm going to use the uh, black yarn for the aging part or the last part for our hat okay so i'm going um uh, attach my yarn into the very first stitch yeah then i'm going to make a knot so <laughs> it's secure and then chain one chain one and then work a single crochet into the same space then work one single crochet in every stitch one single crochet one single crochet one single crochet and two here okay then i'm going to show you how to work the single crochet in the air flap area i guess so wait mm -hmm. one single crochet continue working one single crochet here and then once you have reached the air flop area then work one single crochet one single crochet okay so then one single crochet just make sure that you are working one single crochet in each uh so there is no proper counting uh, i mean hole here so just count your stitches um 
it's nine single crochet up to the top so this is our uh, my next uh, I mean so this is the last part nine stitch and then this is when you reach for the uh, pointing uh, point I mean the corner okay so work uh, three single crochet into that corner and then down one single crochet one single crochet uh, just to make sure that you have put um, same single crochet as what you have counted in the other part uh, just like mine um, it's nine single crochet so I'm going to work nine single crochet in this side okay so okay so I know it's a little bit tricky here because um, you're not working the stitches just like we have uh, okay so that's my nine stitch then work uh, um, single crochet in each stitch okay so that's how it looks like now just make sure that you put a three single crochet at the top or the corner of the air flap okay so this is the air flap stitch so that's two three four oops four five six seven eight and nine then the top oops uh, nine and then at the top work a three single crochet um, one one two and three then work down nine single crochet and so on okay okay so uh, my, if you're new to my channel and you're still watching my video up to here so please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button for you to be notified and get notified for my new uploaded videos and please don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like my video okay so if you have questions just put your comment in the comment section <laughs> and i'll be glad to answer it to you and yes so this will be the first part of my um tutorial and for the second part is how to make the ears the nose and then the eye patch okay and how to assemble it into our hat okay so and so I meet you back and this is my last stitch and we're going to slip stitch into the first stitch there I know you can see the stitches but just slip stitch into the first single crochet we made then chain one to secure the yarn and cut it okay okay so just wave the ends if you like and <laughs> just wave the ends to make it cleaner 
Okay, so that's the end of our part one. See you in the part two of my video. Bye-bye. See ya.